Well, hey guys, wow, what a day. Okay, so remember the other day, it's also, it's today's November 30th, 2023. The Lord Jesus has been speaking all day. He literally woke me up this morning, talked about um, the ice being melted now and um, the dead will rise. So I get home from Myrtle Beach. Um, long story short, I was visiting my mom. My brand new car I got in August, it's 2023 hybrid, stopped working. And I was like, Lord, how is this happening? Because it's a brand new car and like, what's going on? Well, apparently it was the battery, but here's the thing. I told you about how Jesus Christ picked out my license plate and he gave me 444, right? And that's the kingdom of heaven. Well, <laughs> he was using my car to witness to somebody. And he told me a couple days ago, he said, my child, I need you to stay put and you will know why soon. So he needed me to leave today. This is how God works. He's so amazing. And you just have to listen to Jesus and the Holy Spirit because he will, um, you know, he will guide you. And so I, I finally got home, thankfully. And look, look what I came to. My awesome Adam had me roses waiting for me at the door and Jesus kept them alive. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Anyway, he's the best. Um, okay, so um, I get in and um, I feel compelled to make this video because I wanna tell you that Jesus started my day off speaking to me this morning. And then after he gave me that, I didn't go to bed till 5 a.m. because Jesus poured his spirit out on me last night, him and the father, and gave me a message at like almost 3 a.m. Okay, so I didn't go to bed till 5. Then the Holy Spirit woke me up at 9.30 and told me that about the dead will rise and the ice has melted. Okay, and then I heard from the Lord and he said, I need you to go now, my child. And I was like, but Lord, I, I was going to sleep and I need you to go now, my child. So you have to listen to Jesus. So I was like, okay. So I packed up my things really, really quick and I got on the road. And as soon as my first stop was gas, I went to the gas station and I think this woman was Muslim. She was behind the register and I was buying an energy drink and getting gas. And the Lord was like, I need you to tell her that I love her and um, that I'm coming soon. And I was like, okay. So as, as I paid for it, I was like, Jesus just told me to tell you that he loves you and he's coming soon and have a blessed day. So then I walked out and this other woman was near her when I said that and she um, didn't say anything. She just walked by me to get gas and I'm in my car and about to leave. And Jesus said, don't forget to tell her, my child, that I love her too. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I rolled down the window and I was like, hey, I just want to let you know Jesus didn't forget about you. He loves you too. He just told me to tell you. And she smiled and got in her car. Okay, so then I'm on the road and I'm close to a rest area. I saw a rest area sign. All of a sudden the Holy Spirit speaks to me. And um, I said a video earlier, but I'm just kind of showing you the whole story. Um, told me to go in the rest area. There was a woman there that was witnessing that I talked about in another video. Well, at the same time that was happening, because he wanted her to be the light in her family, he was letting me know that um, she knew the true gospel, but she needs to wake up her family. And he said, every time um, you plant a seed, when they see the glory and the sky, his countenance, that seed is going to grow. Okay, so then as that was happening, I hadn't caught up to the messages yet. And I started Zooming with G, my soulmate. And all of a sudden he goes, did you just see what happened? And I was like, no, I haven't, I haven't caught up. Let me know. Okay. So this morning, um, as I was driving after the gas station, Jesus put it on my heart to pray for McKenna. And so I started praying for McKenna and I heard, send her some money. Okay. So I won't tell you like how much, or whatever. But then I called G because we're like partners in crime. Like when I send the money, he always matches or vice versa. And the Lord has blessed me with real estate. And um, I know why now I was rookie of the year when I first started, I had six sales in six months. And that was because he needed me to be blessed to help the 12. Now I'm not like loaded with money or anything like that. I'm like, okay, you know, so I have to figure out, I trust in Jesus and I know he will provide <clears throat> even when I don't have sales on the table. So anyway, 
What's amazing is McKenna was praying to Jesus this morning about her brother, who's an atheist, how he wanted, how um, <clears throat> he needed Jesus to save him. And also, she was praying about her money situation. So Jesus spoke to me and put it on my heart. So I called G, and then G and I were talking. We normally would just zell, you know. G lives an hour from McKenna. The Lord said, I don't want you to zell this. I want you to drive it to her. So I said, G, you're not going to believe this, but Jesus wants you to drive the money to McKenna, not zell it, and he needs you to go now. And he prayed about it, and he got the same thing from Jesus. And so, <laughs> long story short, he drives an hour to go drop off the money for McKenna. When he gets there, her brother happens to be there and was 15 minutes early. And her grandfather was there as well. And so they see this like strange man, cause you know, McKenna, um, she lives with her fiance or whatever. But um, anyway, so they see the strange man and they're like, who, who is this? You know, so um, McKenna felt it in her spirit to tell them, hey, you know, I've been praying to Jesus about money problems and about saving you and waking you up that Jesus is real. And G showed up at the same time to deliver money to help to answer the prayers. So not only did Jesus, from the time we woke up this morning, um, <clears throat> speak about that, he put it on my heart to give money to wake up McKenna's family, and then this woman at the rest area, and then the gas station, and then he told me to tell G to make a video about it. And he put it in G's spirit to make a video about it as well. Because God is speaking and he's omnipresent. So he speaks to everyone at the same time, the same messages. Okay. And then as I'm driving, I see Taj 104 in front of me, just a random license plate. And all of a sudden I hear Taj Mahal and I'm like, what is, what is that, Lord? And he said, look up what the next event is coming. So I'm sitting there, you know, making all these videos, why I'm driving, because the Lord just keeps pouring out his spirit and the testimonies. And this all happened, and it's not even five o'clock yet. <laughs> and do you remember when Jesus said the other day, he said, when you start to hear a lot from me, know that I am about to walk through the door. So... I feel like it is so soon. I am so excited. Um, I know something's coming. You know, there's the COP28 event. There's so many things happening right now, lining up with what Jesus is giving us, the 12 and other members of the bride, um, and plant the seed because he's going to make it grow. Anyway, I wanted to share this because it's so important that if you do not know Jesus, you have faith and believe in him, confess he's Lord, repent from your sins, is believing, is telling Jesus that he took his sin, your sins away on the cross. It's giving Jesus your heart. It's a relationship with Jesus. That is what he wants from you because he didn't come to condemn the world. He came to save the world. Okay, so Jesus is truly speaking and I don't know what's next, but he did put it in my spirit about 512. Because remember, he gave me a prophecy and he said 512 is the end, but only the beginning. So when he showed me that that event in Taj Mahal was December 26, that's also 326 matching the patent of my birthday. Um, 326 is when they patent the cryptocurrency thing. Well, God is using 10 as 12 because he gave me um, a, a decimeter in a message the other day, and he also put in McKinnon and Vashti's spirit about Decca, you know, so he's using 10 and 12 as mirrored. And what if he's using 512, like December 5th for the beginning and possibly December 23rd for the end because three plus two is five and 512 because he's using 12. I don't know, but that popped in my spirit. So um, if you guys are getting anything like that, let me know because, you know, we're looking up every day for Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. We cannot wait to be with Jesus at the wedding feast, but at the same time, we want to save as many people as I can, as we can, as the bride. 
So, okay, Jesus loves you more. I love you and have a blessed day. He came in the flesh, but on the cross and died for your sins. God bless.